What's up, SC Nation? Welcome to another episode. So, welcome to my channel, actually. And what I'm going to try to do is an experiment. For the next month, I'm going to try to do a video every day. One video every day and post it up onto the website. It could be on LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, or wherever you guys see fit. Let me know if there's something that I will miss. Now, uh, these are like videos where I provide some information based on my knowledge, but I also have an assignment at the end or homework for you guys to do if you feel like you want to uh, join in and actually participate and let me know in the comments what you think. Now, you might be thinking, why is it dark in here? Well, because it seems that there's a bit of wind in Canada, in Ottawa, and our lines cannot hold uh, up to a little bit of wind because we're not used to it. We've never seen wind before. So, topic of the day is, are you responsible for your own happiness at work? Well, the obvious answer is yes. And the reason I'm bringing it up is I just read Drew Tarvin's book, which is called Humor That Works. And he talked about how he's had in the past, like some crappy jobs and how he made them actually fun by either doing like, by rapping the entire time or um, playing games with colleagues. And I thought about it, like, there's a lot of things that happen at our at our job that may or may not make us miserable. It could make us very happy or it could have the, the negative effect of making us unhappy. And whose job is it to actually take care of our mental health and our happiness? And it's a very important topic, not just because you need to be happy at work. At least for me, if I'm unhappy at work, I usually bring it home with me and I don't want to bring it unhappiness back to my house where my wife and kids are because we're supposed to be a happy family we're supposed to be a healthy family so it's important for us in my opinion to actually focus on the positive things and what we can control so it is our responsibility and we may not be able to control the people around us or the environment or everything but what we can control is how we react and how we let it affect us like something could piss us off or we can just shake it off and move on with our lives. And there are different ways to deal with things. For example, if, uh, if, if you're worried about financial stability, you're underpaid basically, which is something that happened to me earlier in my career. Uh, it's my responsibility to make sure I get paid the amount that I think is right based on the market. Now, I haven't seen in my life anyone get a raise without asking for it and they may get like a well, adjustment inflation adjustment or something like that but not an actual raise a significant one that will actually make a difference in our lives so it's our job to ask for a raise from our managers and a lot of times that doesn't even work so at that point it's our job to find either move teams within the same company if you really like the company that you work with and it offers you other benefits than just salary, for example, flexibility at work or being able to work from home, which is the same thing. And if, if those are not enough, then you might have to look elsewhere, which is what happened to me. I had to look elsewhere uh, and, find a, and find a job. I know a lot of my friends looked elsewhere, found a job somewhere else, were unhappy and came back to their work at a higher salary because HR has, it's very windy outside. All right, I'll give them that. HR has its own set of rules where they can't increase pay over like a certain percentage. So that's one thing. Another thing could be like a person that's making you unhappy. Uh, it could be because of actions that they're doing, whether it's on purpose or not. Like if it's just things that they're doing, maybe they're calling you by, by the wrong name or they're calling you, your name is Robert and they call you Bobby and you hate being called Bobby and it's causing some affliction for you. Then you should be able to talk about that. If there are small things like that, you should be able to talk to your colleagues. Now, if the person who's making you unhappy is a douchebag and uh, like a bully, that's a totally different story. Then you're, what's in your control is whether how you let it affect you and or taking it up to HR and management and all that, uh, all that stuff. Uh, the one thing that used to make me unhappy when I was an intern was the, types of, the type of work I was doing. I was doing something called uh, sanity testing, which for those of you who don't know, I used to work for Nortel and for the software design team. And every night, hundreds of software engineers would submit their code and to get compiled. And I was the guy who would take it on the next day and 
load it onto our equipment and see if it breaks it broke anything if it's worth the product verification team to actually test it that sucked because it was the same thing same clicks everything was the same i even took initiative to change my uh, situation and i uh, asked my manager if i can automate it he said no so i moved on i asked I got so proficient I was done by noon almost every day, so I asked for coding, and whether they gave me coding or not, sometimes they did, sometimes they didn't, I had extra time to actually study, so basically I used that time to study. I wasn't really happy with my job, but that part where I had the time to do what I wanted actually made me a little bit happier and made the job tolerable, because I can leave that job due to uh, being an intern and having to go back to university the year after. So, homework of the day today. This is the first homework you're going to get, hopefully first of many. <clears throat> Write down uh, on a piece of paper the one thing that's making you unhappy at your work. If there is, if you're happy, then I'm really happy for you. But if there's something that's bugging you, that's bothering you, write it down. It doesn't have to be major. It could be this guy is doing, saying this thing to me for no good reason, whatever. Write it down, and then I want you guys to make a brain dump of everything you can think of that would fix the situation. So whether you have one thing or 50 things, just write it all down and prioritize it in the thing that the smallest thing that will have you the big that will have the biggest impact. Once you prioritize them, I want you to scratch everything out except the first one and try to focus on that for the next couple of weeks and see how that can actually improve your situation at work. And that's it for me today. If you like this, uh, make sure you hit the like button. It helps the algorithm, helps people know that this is not a bad channel, it's actually a good channel, if you think it is a good channel. And subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that stuff. So I will see you guys tomorrow.